Hi everyone, so some of you were asking how I achieved these very large letters with my brother um, SE425 embroidery machine. So I'm going to show you really quickly how I did that. So I went to my, um, this is a PowerPoint presentation. I'm just going to use this to, uh, to get my image file. For the letters. Okay, so now I'm gonna. Oops, sorry. The bridge just fell. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna. What I did here is I did the word in two sections. I did the L U. And by the way, I used a font that is called Bernard. It's right here. It's called. Bernard MD Condensed. Okay, so there's my L and my U. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger here, but that's not really going to matter as far as um, the embroidery goes because I'm going to resize it in my sew art program. Okay, so there's my LU, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, take this, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it as a picture file. See this little paste option right here? It will paste it as a, as a picture. Okay, so there's one. There's my LU, and now I'm going to take the same letters, and I'm going to put the KE, and I'm going to do the same thing with this, and I'm going to go copy, and paste as a picture file right here. Okay. So now the next thing I need to do is get rid of this can just go off to the side because I'm not going to be using it anymore. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I just need to crop these out to see all this extra space. The um the digitizing digi, digi, digitizing software will recognize that as a part of the embroidery. So I'm going to go to my picture tools right here. I'm going to crop this out right up next to the letters like this and like this. So it's right up next to the letters. I'm going to crop this and I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Crop. And what happens is they, they should end up being right at about the same size. Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Because they were the same size letters. Either, and when you're going to crop it right up next to the letters, you'll see in the next software program, the, the Sew Art program, how I'm going to make sure that they're the same size and all that. Now, if you notice, I made them both, both all the letters, all four letters black. I, I guess I should have showed you guys doing them with different colors because once I go to stitch this out on, on um, the sew art program, I just I have a tendency just to watch my embroidery machine as, it, as it's embroidering. So I actually stopped the embroidery machine to to make it the different make the letters the different colors. So. Um, if you need to, you can, so that it stops every time that you need to change colors, you can just make the letters different colors. But, okay, so, go like this. So now I'm going to take both of these together, and I'm just going to make them a little bit bigger. And how I did that is I pushed the shift button on my, on my keyboard. Okay, so, now I'm going to do these one at a time, and I'm going to them sideways because even though the loop is four by four, I, I honestly I think that it I like to do everything sideways on my machine. Okay, so there's my my L and my U. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go over to the Sew Art program, which is a program that I purchased online for seventy five dollars, and it it, digi it digitizes and stitches out the um, my picture files that I put into my embroidery machine. Okay, so now I'm in my sew art program. So it's a sew art, and I'm going to go to edit, 
I'm gonna go paste because I had copied that from the photo uh, from the uh, from the. Oh my gosh! I just lost my train of thought. From my PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Sorry, from my PowerPoint presentation. Okay. I'm gonna go edit and I'm gonna paste this. So I have the L and the U, but obviously it's not as big as the loop, at least it doesn't look like it. I'm just going to crop this down just a little bit more, like this. So I try to mix the edges so that when I'm embroidering, it's going to actually go right up to the edges of the, of the loop. Okay, so I just cropped it out. That's the crop tool. And I'm going to go right next to here, and I'm going to resize my image. And what I like to do, like this image, for example, is, is almost square anyways. So it's pretty easy just to, to keep the aspect ratio the same. I mean, keep it locked on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this 3.90, which it's not totally square. Because as you see, the last the lock aspect ratio is on, and the width of it is 3.79. So 3.90, 3.79. It's gonna it's gonna almost fit the whole loop because I have 4.4 4, 4 inches by 4 inches. I don't like to do it all the way up to the 4 inches because it won't actually it won't actually transmit onto my embroidery machine when it's 4 inches. It has to be just a little bit less than 4 inches for it to to transmit onto the machine or else you go to transmit and then you look and it's gone. It's not, there's no file there. But on your computer it'll say it, it's there, but it, the machine doesn't want to take it if it's anywhere, like, if it's at four inches it won't take it. Okay, so I'm going to go okay. So now it's much bigger. And I guess I should have cropped this out a little bit too. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to tools. And since it's only two color, which is only really one color on here, because like I said, I like to watch the machine and I'll stop it myself between the letters. If you have two colors on here, however many colors, you're going to have to reduce your colors in this program. In this instance, I'm only doing two because the white and the black are both a color. But I'm only going to stitch out the black on here. Okay, so I reduced the... the um, colors to two, and then I go back up to tools, and I convert this to stitches, it's going to give me a little wand, so that I can um, point to what I need to stitch out, so I'm going to do the L, and the U, so there's my stitched out letters right there, and I'm going to hit OK, and it's asking me if I want to save the embroidery file, yes I do. And I'm going to save this as uh, 999LU. You notice it's saving it as a TIFF file, which is an image file. It's actually a high resolution image file, image file, the TIFF files are. So it's going to save it as that, but along with that, like right now, it's going to ask me to save the embroidery file, which is a PES brother file. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And you're going to see it, it stitched it out for me on the screen right there. And it says it was successfully saved. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my file manager right here, just here on your computer. I'm going to search for my file, 999 I started it with. Okay, there's my file right there. So uh, out, out of these four files that are saved on my computer, I only need to, um, I only need to transmit this file here and the PES file onto my embroidery machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a USB cable and I'm going to plug it into my embroidery machine. My computer's going to make a little noise. And on my computer, it ends up being the F file, but or the F drive. But on your computer, it may just be it may be a different drive. Either way, it's the USB drive that should come up. So I'm going to select this 
hold down the control button and select this, these two files, I'm going to right click and I'm going to send them to the USB drive F on my computer. And if I look over at my screen over here, um, and you need to make sure that your, your embroidered machine is on embroider like mine isn't right now, but for the purpose of this, of this um, video, I transmitted them onto the F drive, which is my embroidery drive, and that's all I did. And then when I went to embroider, I just did the LU, and I did the same thing with the KE, and I just moved it along between the two letters, and just lined it up straight, 